Hi, welcome back to Sonic Sunday School. Um, we're going to go over the major scale. I'm going to break this down into several videos of the different positions I use because I look at the scale patterns a little different than most people do. I try and break everything down to three notes per string. A lot of teachers will teach you two notes on some strings, three notes on other strings. Um, I really play most of everything three notes per string. It keeps the symmetry, it keeps the picking patterns similar, and uh, so what I'm going to do is over the next several videos illustrate how I use this different um, positions. I'm going to go over one position at a time, uh, one per week, and then we'll put it all together and you'll see how I look at the entire fretboard and how I can move all over the fretboard and have it all memorized. So I'm going to give some examples um, in each video of how I might use that single position over a chord progression. We're doing everything in G major so regardless of the position it will be over a actually I'll just use the same chord progression, the same recording. Uh, Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick example of what I mean by some teachers will teach you two notes and three notes per string and how I use it as a three note per string, like a major scale. So there's your whole major scale. Most will teach it like this. Two, three, three, three two and two where so I'm using three notes per string yeah it'll go higher than that note or that note going three notes higher but it able it enables you to do things like your down up, down down up down down up down down and you're picking instead of it's that's not symmetrical it's inconsistent or this even if you're playing legato instead of that sounds a little off So that's why I do this, and uh, I do it with all the different positions, and we'll go, you know, I'll show that to you uh, over the next few videos, alright? So here's what the first position looks like, and a little graphic of it I made, and that's right here. All right, here's me playing that shape on the guitar just to give you a visual representation of what that looks like. Alright, now I did a little bit of a quick improv over a chord progression in G, just using that shape. It's kind of uh, difficult because I didn't realize how much I use the entire neck to just try and play something in one shape, just using the first pattern. So uh, it's going to be interesting to uh, see how this goes over the next several videos, some of the weird little improvs that I come up with. Alright, so here's that.
All right, well, I hope that gives you an idea of how that can be used over a chord progression. Of course, that's just one shape at one tempo in one key. Um, after we go over all the different positions, I'll also show you how you can implement them in different keys and use them in minors and things like that. So uh, I hope this was helpful, and by the time that we're through all of this, I hope that you can uh, play all around the neck and uh, not have any problems. All right, I'll see you next week. Thanks.